As you can imagine, in a movie called Aftershock, there's a lot of this. All right, let me fix this real quick, get myself back in sort of frame. Hey guys, last night I went to watch the world premiere of Aftershock. That's what kind of premieres I get into is movies called Aftershock. And if you haven't heard about it, it's basically a new thing from Eli Roth. Um, feature film. It wasn't directed by him. It was directed by a guy who's very funny named Nicholas Lopez. He was at the screening and Eli Roth was there. He announced uh, Nicholas Lopez and a couple of the actresses that are in the film. I'll put the link down below. It's another video. I just thought I'd keep it separate um, because this is a review for the movie Aftershock. It basically was produced by Eli Roth. Eli Roth is one of the lead roles and he helped write it along with the director, Nicholas Lopez. Uh, the movie takes place in Chile and it's the same setup as usual, three uh, young adults, I don't know that young, but Eli Roth and two guys that are Chilean, um, you know, are partying up in Chile, basically sightseeing, all that stuff. They run across three equally attractive girls, they all wind up starting to partay, and the movie, and that part takes quite a bit of the movie, and so they build the characters, you know, they, there's a lot of entertainment that they add in there, there's a lot of humor that they have, which I thought was good. Uh, it's a very humorous, kind of like in the vein of Cabin Fever or the hostile movies, you know, it has a little bit of humor. Definitely sort of that Eli Roth sort of touch in there. And uh, Eli Roth's a fairly decent actor. He's satisfactory. And all the actors are satisfactory. The main guy, one of the other main guys is named Pollo, um, which means chicken. He's kind of like this fat sort of, we're calling him the Zaf Galifianakis character of this movie. Um, he's just funny. He was a good character overall. Um, and he might have stole the show from Eli Roth. But Eli Roth has some good stuff, you know, some funny dialogue. Um, as far as the earthquake stuff goes, they're basically in a club and earthquake hits. And then from then on, they're on the run from, you know, earthquakes, uh, crazy people that have broken out of a prison in Chile, um, and just, you know, other disasters. And there's a hint of blood and guts. There's some a little bit of gore in there, a little bit. Um, not really any TNA. There's a lot of hot girls that don't show anything, really. Um... But the main actors, there's a couple of them, they're really nice looking. One's Russian and one is, I think, um, at least South American. I'm not sure what country she's from. But yeah, it was good stuff. There's a lot of subtitles to read. Uh, because a lot of, obviously, there's a lot of talking in Spanish. Uh, if you're an Eli Roth fan, I think you're going to like it. I enjoyed it quite a bit more than I thought I was, um, even though it was not a great film at all. But the humor part I thought was funny. The, like I said, the character Polio was funny. Eli Roth's pretty funny. And they have some little funny situations. And there's some of the death stuff is a little kind of humorous. The movie overall doesn't take itself that seriously. And I got to respect it for that because it kind of knew what it was. You know, it's kind of like a glorified sci-fi movie. You know, it's something you'd see on the sci-fi channel. Um, basically, that's what I kept thinking when I was like, it's kind of like a TV movie, but it's an enjoyable one, one I definitely watch. Um, I don't know if I can really recommend this film. I'm going to give it a really soft three out of five because I did have a good time watching it. I thought it was fun. I think it would make a decent movie as a rental. And the end was pretty cool. Um, they have a little cool ending. I was able to predict it pretty quick, but uh, I liked it. I liked the way it ended. You know, made, left you thinking a little bit at the end. And it was a fun ending. One more negative thing I would say about it, and uh, the guy I was with was saying it was probably the projection. I don't think it was. I think it was just kind of shot poorly overall, the film. Uh, a lot of the shots are really confusing. Um, there's a lot going on. Of course, a lot of shaking. And then just the quality of the the photography of the film, I just didn't like it. But yeah, overall, it's just kind of like a fun horror movie. I liked it better than Chernobyl Diaries. It's the same type of thing, basically, you know. Vacation turns into craziness. If you're an Eli Roth fan, check it out. I would recommend it for sure if you're an Eli Roth fan. If not, you can definitely skip it. You don't really have to use your mind to think about this. This is a complete popcorn flick. So, yeah, if you've seen the movie, tell me what you thought down below and let me know. I'd uh, love to hear your take on the film, what you thought. Um, all right, guys, see you soon. Take care, and uh, make sure if you want to see more Eli Roth, check out my other video that I had of him uh, announcing Nicholas Lopez.